Hey guys, it's me, 80s144. Today, guys, I wanted to do my Europa League uh, mock draw. So as you guys can see, I have, I'm going to be doing the draw right here, guys. I will give you guys my quick predictions for each of the games. And then obviously, I'm going to go ahead and do my dream draw as well. And then give an overall towards the end of the predictions. So if you guys do enjoy, um, comment down below your thoughts for the Europa League. And like I said, guys, um, it's been a great. Let's go ahead and look at this draw, man. So I'm going to go into the fast draw real quick. Just speed up the time. And voila, here we go. There will be time stats for you in the description below, by the way, for your convenience. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do this. And this will be my prediction, by the way. My predictions. So, we got Group A. We got Roma, Feyenoord, Ferenbahce, Union, SG. If I had to give a prediction for that group, I will say that I think um, uh, fourth place in the group, I think, is going to be... I'll say Union, SG. I'll say Union, SG. Um, I was actually, it's a toss up between Ferenbahce and Union SG, but I'd say Union SG just because of the fact that I actually, you know what, I'm going to change my mind here, guys. I think I'm going to go fourth place Ferenbahce. Ferenbahce for me, I just not really been impressed with them. Turkish teams in general just have been really poor in Europe and hence the reason why I think they'll finish bottom. And I think Union SG will, will prove to be a surprise. You know, they almost knocked Rangers off of the Champions League. Obviously, you know, Rangers did a comeback. So... I feel like this is a team to not be underestimated, and I actually think they'll get third in the group, and I think they'll make the conference league. Uh, round of 16. Okay, now, I mean, round of 32, sorry. Now for top two. I think Roma should top the league to up the group and find order to come in second place. Uh, we saw in the Europa League, uh, Europa Conference League final. So that'd be interesting, man. That would be poetic to have both teams go up against each other. Group B, we got Arsenal, Little Goretz, Union Berlin, Ominia. Um, I'd say fourth place in the group should be Ominia. With all due respect, I just don't think Ominia can really match up with other teams. Um, and then second place, third place is really tricky. I'm going to go with Ludogorets. I think they'll do well. Um, but I feel like Union Berlin just have a lot of quality. I feel like Union Berlin have a lot of quality, and I feel like it's a very underrated team. And Arsenal should top the group. Group C, Dynamo Kiev, Malmo, Sheriff, and HJK. Now, I got to say, man, this is a very interesting group. I'd say this is kind of like the group of life. And for me, last place in the group is really difficult to call, guys. It's really, really difficult. But I am gonna go with Sheriff. I just I just feel like Sheriff Terrasapol have been disappointing. Actually. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go with fourth AJK. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, Mike Talks Football. AJK just for me isn't that great of a team. They're decent, but they're not that special, you know. And I feel like they'll really struggle here. Uh prove me wrong, man. Prove me wrong. I'll be like to be proven wrong, but I don't think they'll do well in that group. Third, I'm going to go with Sheriff Tirisipal. I think they'll just about edge it out. Um, and yeah, and then top two, I think Malmo will come second place. And Dynamo Kiev will win the group. I think Dynamo Kiev are a very good team. Um, and Malmo, I just feel like... Uh, the reason why I give Dynamo Kiev the big advantage is just because I feel like on the road, I could see them getting results. Whereas Malmo, I feel like they'll get the results at home, which will be enough for them to submit second place. But they won't top the group because they're poor away form. Now, Group D is interesting, you guys. I like Group D a lot. We got Braga, Monaco, Batiste, and Stromgras. That's a very difficult group. I think that's like a group of death. Coming in last place, I have a Stromgras. I just don't think they'll be able to compete with the likes of Braga and Monaco. Um, Batiste. And then third place... Um, I'm actually going to go with... It's a difficult one, guys. It's a difficult one. I'm actually going with a surprise one here, and some of you guys may be very surprised. Um, I'm actually going with Monaco third, just because I feel like for Monaco and European competitions, they just tend to disappoint, and hence the reason why I'd say third. And the second place, I'm actually going with Real Batiste. I think Real Batiste will do well. Um, and the first place I have is Braga. I think Braga is a very underrated team. At home, they're a beast. It's just on the road, they're not very good in, but I think at home, they'll be able to get the results, whereas Batiste are a decent team. So that's a difficult one. Ah, uh, Group E, man. Manchester United, PSV, Ferenc Varos, Trap, and Spore. You know what's really interesting with Group E, guys? That's um, obviously Ajax is a big rival, uh, PSV. Obviously, I know Ajax is not in this, but um, Eric Ten Hag, that's going to be a big moment for him. Uh, fourth place in the group, I'm going to go with Trap and Spore. Um, I know they were in the Champions League qualifiers, and I know they missed out, but guys, Trap and Spore for me, they're just not good enough, man. They're just not, and I'm sorry to say. I just don't think they'll do well. And then third place, I'm going to guess should go with Ferenc Varos on this one. Pretty straightforward. And then second place should be PSV. And then top of the group, Manchester United should be. Group F. Serena Zvezda, Real Sociedad, Bodo Glimt, AEK, Larnetica. 
Now, this is a very interesting one, guys. This is very, very interesting for top in the group. Coming to last place, guys, is I got AE Key. I think AE Key will come last. Now, third is very tricky. Third is very, very tricky. I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with Serena's Vesda. I feel like for me, Serena's Vesda, as good as they are at home, at home they're very, very good. And I feel like they're not as good as they used to be. And um, I've looked at the game against um, Makiba Hafia, and I feel like they should have done a lot better, especially at home. So, yeah, I know it's kind of cruel, and I know it's a bit odd, but, you know, upsets can happen, man. Upsets can happen. So I think they'll finish third. As second in the group, I got is Bodo Glimt. I've been really, really impressed with them. They've been one of the my favorite teams to watch in European competitions last season, and I think they'll definitely do well in the Europa League. And then top in the group, I have is Real Sociedad. Yeah, Real Sociedad yeah, should top that group. Now, for Group G, guys, we got Olympiacos, Rennes, Freiburg, and Zurich. Um, coming in bottom of the group, I'm going to go with is going to be Zurich on this one. I actually, well, actually, yeah, I'm going to go with Zurich on this one. I just think that they've been really, really um, imp and they've been decent, but I feel like there's going to be too much quality for the other teams. Uh, the third place, I'm actually going to go with Olympiacos on this one. Olympiacos, for me, I've not really been convinced of them. I mean, they got thrashed by home in Makibi. Yeah, man, that, 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 that says something, you know. That's really that's really bad for Greeks, Greek football. And I just don't feel like Olympiacos have been up to gear for the last several seasons. And um, I feel like they've fallen off. So I think they'll finish third. The second of the group is actually really tricky. We got Rennes and Freiburg. I'm actually going to go with the edge and say, I think Rennes is going to finish second. I think Rennes will finish second. I think Freiburg will actually top the group. That's a very difficult call. Very, very difficult. And then finally, the final group of guys here is Group H. Lazio, Korobek, Michelin, Nanch. Now, that's a very difficult group. A very, very difficult group. Coming to last place, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Michelin on this one. I think I'm going to go with Michelin on this one, guys. The third I'm going to go with is going to be Nanch, I guess. And then I'm going to go second place, Korobek, and the first, Lazio. So that is my um, Champions League mock draw predictions. And, man, these groups, man, these groups are tough. It's not straightforward, man. These groups are actually pretty difficult to think of. So, anyways, let's go into the um the my dream draw. So, for the group A, guys. So let me go ahead and put the timestamp below. So, uh, let's start with group A, guys. So dream draw. So, and I'm gonna explain you why I have each of this stuff. So group A, I have Roma, Feyenoord, and Ferenbahce, Robin Spore. The reason why I actually picked this group is because I want to see how Rome. I want to see if Feyenoord can get revenge against Roma. I feel like it'll be a really, really interesting to see what happens. Oh wait, hold up! I made a mistake. This cannot happen, guys. Um, Ferenc and Trabzonspor cannot be in the same group because they're both Turkish teams, right? Yes, indeed, they are. So we're gonna have to change one of the teams. Okay, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna replace one of the teams real quick. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do Union Berlin here. And we're going to put down... We'll put um, Ferenbache here. I'm sorry, guys. I should have known that better. I was going to originally put this team, but I, I feel like we've seen it too often, so I didn't want to see that again, at least right now. So, Okay. Let's actually go back. So, anyways, Union Berlin, Traven Sport. I just feel like this would be a really good game. Um, I'm really looking forward to that Union Berlin, Traven Sport game. And I feel like Union Berlin could actually get second in this group. I think it's a very interesting group. It's like a group of death in some ways. And, um, yeah, I think Union Berlin could definitely surprise people in this group. So, I actually like this group a lot. Now, for Group B, we've got Manchester United, Monaco, Ferenbahce, HJK. Now, this is a very interesting one. Once again, another group of death. And I actually think Monaco, Ferenbahce could actually challenge Monaco for this one. And I actually really want to see HJK versus Manchester United because I actually have a friend... Uh, Finland, uh, a Finnish friend. He, um, his local team is Manchester. Uh, his local team is HJK. He also supports Liverpool, and it'd be really funny if HJK actually faced Manchester United. So I really want to see that happen. Um, you know, but yeah, with all due, with all all seriousness aside, um, Manchester, all jokes aside, Manchester United should top this group like they should. Even though it's a very difficult group, they have. Um, I think Manchester United should definitely top. So yeah, I think that's gonna be interesting. Monaco versus Fernbach is gonna be the big match. I'll probably determine the second place in the group. And yeah, and we got next one, guys. This was a good one. Arsenal, Real Sociedad, FSC Freiburg, and Notch. Now, this is a very difficult one. Very difficult group for Arsenal. And I actually think anything can happen in this group because I feel like all four of these teams are going to get wins. 
All four of these teams will get wins in the group, and that's going to be very interesting. Very, very interesting. I'd love to see it. And I would love to see how, like, um, Arsenal will do against, like, Real Sociedad and Freiburg and Nantes. Like, because there's all different types of tests here, man. Group D, we got Lazio, Rennes, Real Betis, Zurich. Not as spicy as the other groups. I still think those will be really interesting. Lazio, Rennes for the top spot. Um, even Real Betis as well. I don't think you could sleep upon them. And Zurich as well to round off the teams. Um, I really like this one, guys. Lazio, Real Betis. That's a very interesting one. Um, they've got Braga, Quarterback, Sheriff, Strom, guys. I think it's a very interesting group because it's kind of like the group of life. Any of these four teams can advance. Um... And everything like that. And so that's the beauty about this group is I feel like anything can happen in this group. You know, I feel like any scenario, any teams could advance. That's the beauty about that group. And we got next one group F, Red Straw, Belgrade, Malmo, Michelin, AK. I really like the group for this one because it's not really any powerhouse team in this one. I feel like all the teams are kind of like on a similar level. Um, And yeah, I want to see how Malmo do against Michelin in particular, you know, the Swedish versus the Dane, Denmark, you know. Then we got Dynamo Kiev versus Ludogorets and Ferenc Varos. I really want to see Dynamo Kiev versus Ferenc Varos again. We saw that in the Champions League a few seasons ago. And so it's going to be a reunion of the two teams. And I want to see how Ludogorets could do against Omenia. And then final, the final group we got is Olympiacos Real Sociedad. Oh, wait, hold up. Did I put Real Sociedad twice? I think I might have. Yep, I did. Oh, made another mistake. Jeez, um... Um, which team did I not put? PSV. I didn't put PSV then. I think PSV I didn't put. So we'll put Arsenal and PSV then, I think. Yeah, we'll put PSV here instead. No, no, we'll put, um, we'll put PSV here, actually. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. I thought, um, I, I didn't realize I actually put this twice. Um, I'll be able to make sure. I need to prove, double check before I, um, do this stuff. But anyways, Olympiagos, PSV, that'll be a good matchup. Bodo Glimpse as well, Union, St. Galas. I think it's a very interesting group, guys, because I think it's very open. This group is very open. So now it's time to do my predictions for the final four, guys. Now, this can subject to change, by the way, because I already regret the predictions I did yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. I'm going to put in the description below. Um, Inter will not make the final four, and I'll probably put Bayern Munich as my replacement. I still think, though, um, the other teams will stay as it is. But this one is a bit tricky because the Europa League, man, you have to factor in some of the teams could drop down from the Champions League. And I actually think the team that will drop down for the Champions League will be Rangers. I think Rangers will drop down for the Champions League. So my winner is Roma. I think Roma will win the Europa League. I have Arsenal being the losing finalist. I think PSV will make the semifinal. I think Rangers will make the semifinal as well. I was also considering maybe putting um, Inter Milan in the mix, although I don't really know how much focus Inter will put in the European competitions, which is the reason why I didn't actually put them in this conversation. Um... And then um, I was also considering maybe putting Sevilla, but Sevilla guys, they I, I just don't think Sevilla is as good as they used to be. So I don't think they'll win it. Um, and then um, I was also considering maybe putting like down like other teams like um, like maybe like Marseille, Sporting potentially. But I don't know. I just have a feeling we're going to have an interesting Final Four. I feel like the Final Four will be interesting. My draw course in the Europa League will be Nantes. I think Nantes will surprise a lot of people. My underachievers are going to be Manchester United. I don't think Manchester United will do well in the Europa League. They'll do well, but I don't think they'll do as well as people say it is. I think they'll get like a quarterfinal exit, which will be disappointing for them because they really should be aiming to win this. And I got the top goal scorer be Gabriel Jesus. I think Gabriel Jesus has been on fire um, on the in the Europa League. So I want you guys to give me your predictions, man, especially for the Final Four because Final Four is really tricky. But I'm pretty adamant with Roma. I think Roma is my pick for the Europa League. I'm going to stick with them to win the Europa League. And, um, yeah, like I said, guys, it'll be very interesting. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please let me know in the comments section below. Remember, guys, to subscribe to the channel if you're new around. I like this video if you didn't enjoy. Make sure you guys comment down with your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you guys check out my other plays in the description below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.